have a date with the angel. Starring Betty White. Bill Williams as Gus Angel. Presented by the Plymouth Dealers of America, who proudly sell and service the beautiful new Plymouth for 1957. The time, about six months after Vicky and Gus Angel were married. The main character, a plain blue tie. The plot, something old and something new, something borrowed and something blue. Up. What's the matter? I'm on my way home from work, so I don't have time to use psychology on you. I need your help. Anything, Dolly. What is it? All right, here it is without Freud. <laughs> Ethel's the bridal consultant down at the department store, and yesterday she quit. So? So the job's available, and I want you to take it. All the bridal consultant has to do is tell young engaged couples that their marriage will be a complete flop unless they buy everything at Martindale's department store. <laughs> And you tell them how lucky they are to have found love and how happy they'll be after they're married. In other words, you're a fountain of misinformation. <laughs> Dolly, don't talk that way. There are lots of happily married couples. That's why I thought of you. You believe all that jazz. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, you know how Gus feels about my working. Well, I promised the department manager I'd find somebody. Well, you better unpromise the department manager. I can't. Me. <laughs> Hi, I'm... Hello, oh. Well, ask him. Ask me what? <laughs> you wouldn't want me to take a job at Martindale's department store, would you? No. <laughs> no, see? <laughs> Don't use the negative approach. Gus, wouldn't it be nice if Vicky went to work for a while and brought home some extra money? No. Uh, what I meant was these temporary jobs can develop into something permanent. Well, I've simply got to find somebody. Sorry, darling. We'll still have a luncheon date tomorrow, don't we, dear? We sure have. I'll be downtown all day. I'm riding in with Gus. Well, I tried. I'm sorry. I hope you find somebody. I know it's old-fashioned, honey, but that's how I feel about it. Here's how I feel about it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I believe in this kind of jazz. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Honey, will you do me a favor while you're downtown tomorrow? Is anything you... What? Pick me up a blue tie to go with my gray suit. Okay. Be kind of fun to buy you a present for no reason at all. Blue polka dot? Mm-mm. Plain blue. What color stripes? Plain blue. <laughs> Plain blue. How many mermaids? Honey. A plain blue tie. A plain blue tie. Perfect. I don't know what we're going to do, Mrs. Koenig. I can't spend all my time in the bridal department. They're opening the doors downstairs, and we don't have a bridal consultant. Wallace, I cannot go through another day like yesterday. I just can't face all those starry eyes by myself. Well, what about your friend? She chickened out. <laughs> well, call her up and get her down here. I'll talk her into it. Well, can't personnel handle it? Well, you're on your own. They are playing my song. <laughs> <clears throat> May I help you, miss? I'm beyond help. I'm already a missus. Oh, hi, Vicky. <laughs> Sorry my back was turned. Hey, it's only 9 o'clock. You changed your mind. Changed my mind about what? Oh, bless your heart. Here's the bridal book. Now get all the romantic little boobs to sign it, and for heaven's sake, to get their addresses, because we don't sell them anything here. We beat them to death with circulars. <laughs> Dad, I, I didn't come down here to work. Now, here's the sales book. There's seven carbon copies for each sale, and no matter... What do you mean you didn't come down here to work? I came down to buy Gus a tie. Take the job, and you get a 20% discount. I just couldn't, darling. Not even for an old friend. It's just that Gus feels so strongly about my working. Okay, Vicky. No hard feelings.
They're, uh, they're pretty, aren't they? They're beautiful. It's just that I don't want to hurt God. <laughs> just take the job for one day. <laughs> Dolly, it's just... Mm. Stick around. They want me in the front office. How do you know? Because I am the one for whom the bells toll. <laughs> my Margaret size. I beg your pardon? Oh, well, she's my wife. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> Are those any good? I think so. They seem to be well made, and I imagine they'd launder nicely. Well, could a girl get along on, say, a dozen pair of those things? <laughs> she sure could. Oh, swell. Would you wrap me up a dozen and let me get out of here? Oh, well, I couldn't very well do that. But would you like me to help you pick some off? What color is this shit? Oh, any color. Just throw them in a sack, huh? Well, what have we here? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll wait over there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, may I present Mrs. Angel? How do you do? How do you do? Just 10, 11, 12. I just selected these for that gentleman over by the elevator. Well, I better have them wrapped before he discovers how much they cost. Well, good for you. We've been trying to move those slips for a long time. Welcome to the Martindale team, Miss Angel. Oh, no. Nobody was here, and he looked so helpless. Well, you see how much we need you. Now we have a wonderful retirement plan at age 65. <laughs> well, I came down here to buy a plain man's blue tie. Oh, splendid. You're entitled to a 10% discount. <laughs> Dolly said 20%. But wonderful. I didn't realize you wanted to become a permanent employee. Hey, look at a minute, Vicky. I can't get Junior away from the elevator. Mr. Wallace. Yes? I didn't come down here for a job. I've never sold anything in my life. Oh, I thought you understood. This isn't selling. You advise these young brides. You sympathize with their problems. You uh, guide them into choosing the silver pattern they will cherish. You become their friend. Don't I sell? Oh, if they insist. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll give you a sales book just in case. You've been very kind, and I hate to say no, but oh, I... Oh, fine. There are one or two details to take care of if it's personnel. <laughs> oh. Dolly! Welcome to the Martindale team, dear. <laughs> Is that a business call, Miss Angel? I have to hang up now, Mom. Well, it's not so much selling, it's more advisory. I really have to go, sweet. I advise brides and grooms. Oh, no, nothing like that. No, I just tell them what to buy. <laughs> fine, fine, good. Goodbye, then. Miss Angel? Mrs. I assumed you'd know about personal calls when you asked for this job. When I asked. <laughs> Take care of the customers. Oh, dear. I'm looking for a wedding dress. Anything she wants. What size? We're eloping. <laughs> eloping? Well, I think that's just from home. <laughs> Uh, come to think of it, Emily, we didn't need that ladder. Oh, oh that's the way they did it in the movie, don't you remember them? Oh, it was so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> it sure was. 
That Clara Bow is dumb chicken. <laughs> and you got the idea from that. Well, that must have been 25, 30 years ago. Heck no. We saw it last night on television. <laughs> hey, better make it snappy, dearie. We've got to be on that plane to Las Vegas in an hour. <laughs> Las Vegas? Yeah, we want to go someplace where it's nice and quiet. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't like to rush you, but you'll just barely have time to get to the airport. Oh, Zano, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I did want to look all gussied up for you, Dan. <laughs> but as long as you're so pressed for time, why don't you get your wedding things in Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> they got a dry goods store up there? Oh, they have some lovely shops as nice or nicer than this. <laughs> She's no longer with us. Is there something I could do? We've come for the final fitting for the bridal gown. The name is Johansson. Johansson. If you'll just make yourself comfortable, I'll be right with you. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Oh, it's going to be lovely. I know it is. Oh, I bet it is. Oh, Miss Johansson. Well, Mr. Wallace. It's very nice to see you. I believe your gown is all ready. Oh, well, Mr. Wallace, I'd like you to meet one of my bridesmaids. This is Virginia Nelson. How do you do? Well, Miss Nelson, if you catch the bouquet, Martindale stands ready to serve you. Oh, Mr. Wallace, you know. Here we are. No, this should look beautiful. Oh, have I got the wrong dress? Uh, Miss Angel. <laughs> Mrs. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Hold the wedding reception in here. <laughs> Mr. Angel, this says Johnson. Please bring Miss Johansson's gown. Oh, no, Mr. Wallace. It says Johan. It says Johnson. Well, if it doesn't, I should say it. Isn't that funny? I don't. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> new girl, you understand. She's trying. But very trying. Mr. Wallace is looking for you. Don't let him look. <laughs> What's your problem? I don't think I'll work this afternoon. Oh. Don't let Wallace bother you. He gave up solitaire because of the emotional strain. <laughs> it's not that, it's Gus. I'm doing the very thing he asked me not to. Well, just finish out the day. Gus doesn't ever have to know anything about it. We don't have that kind of a marriage. Well, there's never been a bit of deceit in the whole six months. <laughs> <laughs> then I won't tell him either. Have you seen the pattern they call Spring Blossom? Spring Blossom's lovely. I have that at home. Is it in his catalog? Oh, you can't get it here. We got ours at Benson's department store. <laughs> Do you know it's $23 cheaper than anything in this book? <laughs> Maybe if we got that, I could afford one of your wedding gowns. Do you want to take a look? Yes. Right, I'll be right with you. Thank you. You've got another phone call. <laughs> I'm busy with a customer. Would you take the message? I did. Wilma thinks maybe she'll serve veal cutlets Thursday night after all. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Wallace, we don't carry the spring blossom pattern in silverware, do we? No, we don't, but we do carry spring festival, which is similar and much more durable. No. No, I think I'll take your suggestion and get my silverware at Benson. <laughs> Can we take a look at these gowns? This is a lovely one. Good morning. Oh, uh, may we help you, sir? I'd like to get a little something from my wife. Is uh, Mrs. Koenig around? No, I'm afraid she's busy. Uh, perhaps Miss... Uh, no, she sent you across the street. <laughs> Just wait here. I'm sure Mrs. Koenig will be right back. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, may I help you, sir? Oh, boy. <laughs> 
I'm meeting a client uptown in 20 minutes, so we'll have to make this fast. No, I'm with you, yes. Uh, Vicky made a remark last night that gave me an idea. I'd like to get a little something for no reason at all. We don't sell them. But don't you? No, make the blood. Make the blood. Here we are. Let's see what's in the other room. You want to wait here? Something down here in the bottom shelf, possibly. Oh, that looks all right. Look, you can get the same thing in the basement at half price. <laughs> I'll explain later, Mr. Wallace. The base is right at the bottom of the elevator shaft. Thanks a lot, Dolly. Oh, by the way, Dolly. I wish you'd stop trying to get Vicky a job. I quit trying this morning. Good. Uh, uh, you understand, don't you? She just wouldn't fit into a place like this. Oh, you are so right. You uh, better get going now. Oh, uh, thanks again, Dolly. <laughs> Dolly, I'm glad you understand. I do. I do, I do, I do. Good, uh, good. Better uh, down in the basement. Yes. Yeah. And thanks again, yes. Dolly. I'll see you real soon, honey. Bye. has no business. These dresses are too expensive. It's no use, Miss. Well, Mrs., what's the matter? I just noticed the price tag. I can't afford to spend $195 for a dress I'm only going to wear once. Well, I know what you can do. There's a little place around the corner where you can rent it. That's an idea. Where is this place? And what, what do they charge? Well, I imagine you can rent one for $20, $25. It'll make these look sick. And then, if you got your silverware at Benson's, you could go to Yellowstone on your honeymoon instead of Catalina. <laughs> oh, wait till Tom hears about this. Where is his place? Well, isn't it right around the corner on 3rd Street? You can't... <laughs> I'll go with you. <laughs> Thanks again, Miss. Tom and I will never forget you. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Miss Angel. What have you got against Martindale? <laughs> Who turned Angel loose with Mrs. Appleton? Mr. Wallace, I'm not the bridal consultant. But Mrs. Appleton's a personal friend of the Martindales. She'll send him to Benson's. I don't think so, Mr. Wallace. Mrs. Appleton could afford Martindale. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mrs. Appleton. Hello, Mr. Wallace. My prospective daughter-in-law, Miss Brown. Oh, charm. Is everything to your satisfaction, Mrs. Appleton? Yes. The gowns will be modeled in just a moment, Miss Brown. Good. And when you see them, Mrs. Appleton, you'll just love That'll be all, Wallace. Oh. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I'm not too sure about the silver, Mrs. Appleton. Call me mother. <laughs> we have many other silver patterns, Miss Brown. No, we like the one I selected. Now, about the rest of the trousseau, uh, what do you suggest in nightwear? Oh, we have some lovely things right over this oh. way. Now, this, I think, is particularly pretty. <sighs> Something sensible. Oh, but Mrs. Uh, uh, Mother, I love that. Something in flannelette. <laughs> No, 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 that isn't it at all. Take it away, young lady. Oh, I didn't even see it. Neither did I. It was much too frivolous. My Robert wouldn't like it. Well, where were we? Well, about all we've settled on is the silverware, and I don't think Miss Brown is too sure about that. Well, I just thought it might be hard to clean. Those cherubs do collect dirt. <laughs> Nonsense. I have four servants. Oh, but we aren't going to live with you, Mrs. Uh, mother. Bob and I leased an apartment. I persuaded my Robert to cancel the lease on that dingy little hole. 
gosh, it wasn't dingy. It, it was beautiful. They only eat crystal. Uh, deep etched roses. Is that what you want? Oh, no. I'm the one that's talking to you, young lady. My job is to consult the bride. Maybe, maybe if you and your Bob came in and selected your own thing. Well, she's right. My Bob is the type of man who'd be happy to drink out of a jelly glass. He doesn't need your wretched roses. And don't forget the dirty chair. And, and the dirty chair. <laughs> Young woman, I'm reporting you to Mr. Martindale. What's your name? Angel. <laughs> don't get flip with me. <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful, Mrs. Appleton, but it just seems to me you're Robert and her Bob are two different men. And I'm going to find out which one I'm getting before it's too late. And I think your Robert is going to lose. I'll never be able to thank you enough, Miss. Miss? Well, Mr. Martindale is going to hear of this immediately. <laughs> Somebody you sent to Benson's? Thank you very much. Would you mind if I left early today, Mr. Wallace? Oh, I would love it. Well, that's very nice of you. There's something I want to pick up for my husband. May I see your sales book? I just performed a wonderful public service. It may interest you to know that you have set an all-time record. Never in the history of Martindale's has one of our employees done so much for Benson's. <laughs> Not one sale. <laughs> Didn't Mrs. Appleton buy anything? No. But she's gone up to see Mr. Martindale about me. I thought you ought to know. Well, at least that's something. Oh. Yes, what is... Yes, Mr. Martindale. <laughs> Miss Angel's here. She what? Oh, she did? Uh, BB Brain? Yes, she is. Oh, me? Uh, oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. A nincompoop. Yes, sir. That, that, that too. Uh, uh -huh. Fired? Anybody home? Coming, sweetie. <laughs> What kind of a day did you have? Oh, it's sort of a quiet day. Adjusted a forty-dollar claim, caught up on some paperwork, and dropped in at Martindale's. Martindale's? What did you go there for? Oh, no special reason except to buy a little present for a very special girlfriend. Gosh. Did you have lunch with Dolly today? Uh huh. What did he say? Oh, darling, it's beautiful. Glad you like it. Uh. What happened to you today? Oh, I just love it. <laughs> well, uh, what happened downtown? Oh, well, I had lunch with Dolly. You said that before. Is she still trying to get you that job? No, she gave that up. Oh. <laughs> Good. Gus, hmm? I did spend practically the entire day at Martindale. Oh, you women. How can you spend a whole day in one store? Well, I didn't sell anything, if that's what you mean. <laughs> What'd you do? Well, I... I bought you a plain blue tie. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh. <laughs> Got a date with an angel, gonna meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven. Gentlemen.
when your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program, Top Tunes, and you tell it on the same network. And the dramatic show, Climax, every week on another network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody.